um, with two presentations, one from Audrey Chapman, the University of Connecticut, who's really one of the foremost scholars in social and economic rights, laying out some of the doctrinal elements of a human rights approach and then applying it to a current issue discussing essential medicines. And Suri Moon, who I originally met as an activist in Doctors Without Borders, Medicine Sans Frontieres, working with then Ellen to Home, um, and is now at um, Harvard with positions in their health program and their human rights program, who's going to do a little bit more taking on um, some of the, the doctrinal elements and then applying it to the very cutting edge section in question of whether private companies have human rights obligations and how we, and how we work from that point. Ellen Tahone, who um, was the Access to Medicines Director for MSF for many years and then the Executive Director of the Unitate Patent Pool, and now at uh, the University of, of Amsterdam and, and involved in a series of other projects, <laughs> will will take us forward a little bit into the into the, the remedies field, if you will, and discuss how the international patent pool could be used as a way to meet human rights obligations. And then Duncan Matthews, I think, will end us on a relatively provocative note that will leave us into the, into the rest of the day, asking that question, is medicines, is this first case really an exceptional case? Or is it the start of a, of a pattern that we can use through the other subjects that we'll deal with through the day? So with that, Audrey, please, I invite you.